Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the slice tools for Photoshop CS5. The slice tool is mainly meant for use with web pages. If you're good with web design, this tool will become invaluable to you. Let's say you build a design for a web page on Photoshop similar to this one and wanted to have all the elements as separate images and buttons for your web page. With this tool, you can do that. To prepare, you need to take a few steps. First, go to View on the top menu and make sure the Snap option is selected. This will make precise selections easier. Next, under the View menu, go to the Show option and make sure the Slices section is selected. Otherwise, you won't be able to see your work. Finally, you want to make sure the colors of your slices are easily visible. In my opinion, red is the most easily seen, unless of course red is your website's color. Go to Preferences in the Photoshop menu at the top, then click Guides, Grids and Slices. In the Slices menu, pick a color of your choice. Now we're ready. It's simpler than it looks. With the Slice tool selected, click and drag around the selection of choice. You will notice a square with a label and a number is created. You will also notice a few other squares are created too. These are auto slices. Basically, the slice program needs to make sure that the entire image is covered or sliced. So for every slice you create, Photoshop will create more. Now, if you want to make changes to your slices, you pick the slice select tool, then move the cursor to the edge of your slice and click and drag. One important thing to note though, is you can only change the slices you created. If you wish to change an auto slice, click on an auto slice and press the promote button at the top options panel. Now let's say you have multiple buttons that you want to divide into even slices. Simply click and drag around the selection, then right click or control click on a Mac and press divide slice. You get options to divide based on columns and rows. Selecting more than one slice from manipulation is also easy. Simply click on one slice, then press and hold shift, then click on another. If you wish to combine the two slices you have just selected, right or control click and press combine. To delete a slice, select one, then right or control click and press delete slice. If you wish to delete them all and start over, click view at the top menu, then click clear slices. So that's everything for slices for a single image, but what about layers? Luckily, this is even more simple than regular slicing. You simply select your layer, then go to the layer top menu and click new layer based slice. Simple. If you wish to slice more than one layer in one step, click on your first layer in the layers panel, then hold command for the Mac or control for the PC and click on other layers. Then perform the same step as before. Layer, new layer based slice. Now let's say you don't like where your image is, but do not want to re-slice it. Fear not. Simply select your layer or multiple layers, move them as you see fit, and the slices will follow suit. Same goes with transforming. Go to Edit, Transform, or press Control or Command T, then change your image as you see fit, and the slice will follow. Finally, to save the image, you go up to File, Save, and choose a place to save your images. You can choose to save them in multiple file formats based on your needs as you build your website. So with the power of Photoshop, you can create a beautifully designed website and very easily take your elements and put it on the internet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below and send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com.